Hi, cities. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim, and thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So there is this Asian young man trending all over TikTok for saying this respectful thing to black people, trying to remind black people that uh, they are also getting $750, especially the ones that were affected by Hurricane Helene, that uh, we probably think that we are voting for Kamala Harris and maybe our own is going to be way bigger than, like, you know, but we are still getting $750. And I am asking this, how did black people get into the discussion? Because, I mean, a lot of people were also affected. How come you singled black people to talk about it? And why is it that our Asians are trying so hard to be white? Because if, I mean, this is what we call white, shit, like, you know, doing white things. Because if not, why would somebody, I mean, like in a marginalized community come out to do something like this? Now, I I'm going to say this. I have seen so many content creators, especially black people. They make videos. They are not getting views. But some stupid race disease things get so much views. He is at the same time verified. And you see the kind of content they promote on TikTok. That also tells you some certain things about most of these social medias. But I am watching you people. But something that I want to remind you all is that uh, proximity to whiteness does not make you white. And you are also being used against your own interest. That, like you all messed up, messed up affirmative action. Let's get into this video. Please help us. We are dying. We are without food, water, or shelter, or any electricity. We need your aid. Understood. We're going to send $8 billion worth of aid. Oh, thank you. To Ukraine. Let's do that right away ASAP. Come on. What? No, a hurricane has completely ravaged the people that you represent. Give us that money. Oh, don't worry. We're going to give you money. Every single one of you is getting $750 each. You sent $8 billion to Ukraine. You're going to give us $750? You know what? Okay, we'll take it. How do we get it? Easy. You just go online and apply, and if you pass the application, we'll wire the money right over. <sighs> okay, let me get this straight. You want us, people that are trapped in a town with no water, food, resources to spend $750 on, to go online when we have no electricity so we don't have any Wi-Fi to get the $750? I'm black, just like one of you. What does that have to do? Uh, President Biden, please do something. We used to be respectable. Please help us. We are dying. We are without food, water, or shelter, or any. This is the bullshit I'm talking about. Apparently, it pays to be dumb. Apparently, it's cool to put out misinformation. And look, it pays. And you can even get a blue check mark from it. Every fucking day. You know, at this point, some of y'all genuinely just need to just not. Just don't even do anything anymore. You've done enough damage. We thank you for the carnage that you have already unleashed. We appreciate it. But no, we're good. We're good. Because at this point, we have dumbass people that really honestly think that the vice president of the United States controls money. That the president of the United States has levers underneath his desk, underneath the resolute desk, that he just presses a button and prices go up or prices go down, depending on who's in the White House, because it's never Republicans, by the way. And we have jackasses on social media that make money from it and get verified because stupidity pays. For everybody that swears up and down, oh, well, Thomas had to have bought his followers. Let me ask you a question. If I did, why ain't I verified? Why didn't I buy more? Why did I stop at 1.1 million? Why didn't I just shoot for three? Doesn't make any sense, does it? And since y'all think this is all we do it for, let me ask you again. Here's another question. 
if that was the only thing I was doing it for, clicks and views, as you say, why would I be putting out information that people really honestly need to have? Why am I not rage baiting folk or holding lives where people with clan robes just come in and just say the N word all I want? Because, you know, that's funny humor. Why am I not there? Why? Yet this jackass can put out disinformation and get verified. Do you now understand how the game is played? Do you now understand how the game is played? Those of us who really don't give a fuck about followers, we give a fuck about messages, information, education, and things of that nature. None of us are verified. Very few of us are verified. I'm sorry. Very few of us. But we got to go through every single solitary hoop possible. And then we're always questioned on how we got there. Couldn't possibly be that the content we put out is educational or it gets people fired up for certain things. No, we had to have bought our way there, but not this jackass, not him. No, he can put out all the disinformation in the world, follow all the dumbass trends and get verified. But his disinformation and misinformation is never questioned. It's never questioned. Never. There's a reason why people like myself can't wait for this bitch to get banned. I want you all to understand everything I've done outside of TikTok is because of TikTok. Everything. Owning a radio station is so that I don't have to worry about censoring myself on an app. The entirety of the Villains Guild and the organization therein. Is so that I know for a fact there are other people that are going to take up the fight if my ass ain't here. Because at the end of the day, it's all about correct information, education, getting you fired up about things, keeping you educated about the things that you should be fired up about. And I don't have to be verified to do it. I don't. But he is. He is. And... The craziest aspect of that is that you notice there's a lot of people like that. A lot. A lot of people. Getting verified for putting out bullshit. If this was any other time, maybe I'd go with it. No, no, I wouldn't. I'm sorry, I wouldn't. I would not. But now, in one of the most crucial elections possible, where the livelihoods of millions of people are at stake, the rights of millions of people are at stake. We got people like this. So that blue check mark don't mean shit to me. It don't. Because if you look at the content of the people that are putting it out, a lot of them, all they put out is disinformation and misinformation. They keep your ass fired up for stupid shit. Now, there are educators who are, who are, or verified Eric, you know, Aaron Krim, the third, Eric, I think his name is Aaron, Aaron Krim, the third, consciously verify, put out fantastic information, history, information that you need to know the places and things of that nature. And I am so glad that they are, but I see very few people like that. Very few, but I see a whole lot of jackasses like this, a whole lot. And TikTok will just allow them to just spread this disinformation and nobody will call them on it. Because it's okay to hate Vice President Harris, but it's not okay to hate your congressmen and senators and your governors and your state senators and your state congressmen. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't have that. We can't have that. No, 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 no. We can't. And the reason we can't is because if we did that, then people would actually take voting seriously. Both parties are dog shit. Abzo fucking lootly, 100%. But do you know why they're dog shit? Because of the people that support them. You're not holding anybody into, to account. You're not holding feet to fire. You're not making these people actually, you know, do their fucking jobs. No, no, no. No, you'll follow idiots like this. You will follow idiots like this. Who will have your ass believing that the vice president of the United States took all the money from FEMA and gave it to illegal migrants or Ukraine. Why is it only Ukraine? We give money to everybody, but it seems it's Ukraine. I don't know why. Very, very Russian of you. When 
Russian organizations are paying millions of dollars to right-wing jackasses to put out disinformation, you know that shit is big business, which makes what people, what people like myself do that much more crucial because we're not getting paid for it. We're not. If we have large followings, it is organic. It is because we tell the truth. We get people pointed in the right fucking direction. We actually look out and help folk. But not this dude. So some of your, some of the largest content creators, the one you love really dearly, you need to ask yourself, are they giving me stuff that I need or are they giving me stuff that they think I need? Am I getting fired up and mad at the right people? Is the situation I'm going through right now, is it something that I probably should be really aware of? Or am I just sitting here being stupid and not being educated? And I know some of y'all won't do that because again, it's the Roy Cohen, it's the Roy Cohen, uh, conification of the right wing Republican mindset. Never apologize. Never never stand on business. Always stand on bullshit. And this is why the political parties don't change. This is why. Why would they? Our media is not going to hold them into account. They're not. You're going to have sitting congresswomen talk about uh, a political party controlling the weather. And that's perfectly okay. That level of stupid, you're all right with. But I'm the bad guy. For telling you all that shit is just that bullshit. I'm the one that gets N word DMs. I'm the one that gets de death threats. Or you don't believe me. I have no reason to make this shit up. None whatsoever. This is what I fight against. This is the reward for the fight that I took. This is it. I'm dealing with people who would rather be completely wrong and proud than humble and right. But sure, that jackass with his verified 6.5 million followers, he's telling you who you should be mad at. And your life is still ruined because of it. Makes sense, I guess. Apparently, it pays to be dumb. And you know, I think that this this boy right here, he's always been controversial since he's been on here. And if I'm not mistaken, that he he did a a racist TikTok probably a couple of years ago. And everybody ran him off of this app, and then here he is doing it, doing it again. Or maybe he, he was just hidden out of our algorithm. And what bothers me is that we sit and we see so many of these people. A lot of them have college degrees, graduated college. And it's not the fact that they don't know how the vice presidency work, a vice president, or how politics work. It's that these folks have figured out that if I can continue to feed misinformation to a segment of people, especially Donald Trump voters, except especially Republicans, then hey, I can make some extra coins. That's the sickening part about it. That just to make money, they rather feed misinformation and tell lies on this app. But somehow turn around and say that they're a good person. Because so many people like him and others think this shit is a game. They think it's a game, they see easy money, and they're willing to do anything, anything to get that extra money. Anything. They have no morals, no, no, no moral compass. They, they, 
think what they're doing is harmless and that most Americans should know they should be able to they call everything satire or it's just a joke have you ever noticed that whenever people do something harmful to other people or racist or bigotry or say any of those things all of a sudden oh I was just joking this shit isn't a joke these are people's lives that are on the line and some of y'all are using these what's going on to lie and give people no hope they already don't have any hope they already don't trust the government they already don't know how everything works and here it is that y'all come on here making these damn videos do you know when people, when y'all make these type of videos, do you realize that that makes people not go and sign up for the help? There was a, a, a woman that was over FEMA, and she's begging people to come and so they can sign up and get the help that they come and so they can sign up and get the help that they need. But now y'all want to do these stupid ass videos like this for clicks, for damn clicks and views, and so you can make a couple of cents from TikTok. But you're college educated. You have a degree. Y'all love to throw up the fact that you got your little funky ass degree. But you have no common sense. With some of y'all, y'all just learned how to take a damn test. Y'all just knew how to test better. Stop making these videos and misinforming people, y'all. Because you're doing more harm. You're doing harm to those people that desperately need help. They are already discouraged. They, at, they are at the lowest damn point, and you ignorant are running around here doing misinformation videos. I will say do better, but why? A lot of y'all are grown-ups. Grown-ups, and you should know right from wrong. The fact that he's got a college degree and he's sitting up here doing this video tells you everything you need to know about this person's character. It tells you everything you need to know. And hell, I'm trying to sit up here and think to, think to myself, shit, I, I, hell, I know I ain't the brightest crayon in the box and I done said some dumb shit. Hell, I can't even, hell, I can't even get past 200K, 300K. Shit, I barely get 500 likes on my videos. But maybe that's because I'm telling the truth in my videos. Maybe that's because I am informing people. But I need y'all to understand, videos like this are always pushed to the front because it's the misinformation. It's the misinformation. And now here it is, people like Thomas, myself, and others, we got to sit here and we got to combat these videos, and then our videos get suppressed. Everybody that's telling the truth and trying to fight all of this misinformation, our videos suffer. So what I'm asking any of you, when you see somebody doing a video that's combating these lies that people are telling, please make sure you like that person's video, comment on that video, make sure you share that video. Because we got to get the truth out here so people can see that what they are saying is all lies. And the sad part about it, they know they lying, but when they're called out and confronted on it, they're still going to stand by, by their damn video. They will continue to lie. And I think that that has become a bigger problem in America that people don't ever want to admit when they're wrong. Everybody's looking for an easy way. Everybody's looking for a way to come for an easy way. Everybody's looking for a way to become famous. Everybody's looking for the cheapest damn way to, to, to make extra money. It doesn't matter whose life is on the damn line. They only care about themselves. I'm so frustrated with so many damn people in America right now. I'm just so frustrated. And it's so many of you purposely getting on here and doing mis- fucking information why why some of y'all need to log the hell off y'all need to log the hell off 
Anyway, sorry Thomas. I, I, I didn't mean to stitch your video and be this long, but I'm just so frustrated with people sitting up here telling the lies. And it just goes to show you, like you said, a lot of people don't know how the vice pre what what the vice president is supposed to do and how and Joe Biden and all that. But what gets me is when people with college damn degrees are the ones that are spreading the misinformation. We see you. Because there's no way in hell that you gonna tell me you went through four plus years of college and you can't break down how government works. There's, and maybe I'm wrong because I've seen a lot of people that got degrees and I be sitting there wondering how in the hell did you make it through four or five years of school? And you, you dumber than I am. Anyway, we gotta combat this type of misinformation because people's lives are on the line, y'all. So when you see videos like this, combat it. Hell, even report that shit for misinformation. I know TikTok ain't gonna do a damn thing about it, but I'm just saying, we gotta try to combat all of this, all this misinformation. Please help us, we are dying. We are without food, water, or shelter, or any- You got the clap, we got the clap. You got the itch, I'm gonna scratch you, oh yeah. So this is all I got from this sushis and uh, sincerely speaking, it's really been a whole, like for some days, it's been from one story to another and all of that. And the fact that some people have refused to educate themselves, it's very alarming. Not just only that, they are also putting out misinformation out there for people to consume. And the truth is that when you go to the comment section, I hope I'm able to grab some comments so you all will see. To my great surprise, some people are also not, I don't know if to say not aware. I don't want to use dumb or intelligent or smart. Some people are also unaware of some certain things. And if you are their favorite content creator, whatever you speak, I mean, it's okay. It's all right. It goes. I mean, nobody doubts that. Nobody argues that. That is what it is. Now, this Asian guy has been, I mean, I think... He has really been on black people's back for a while. I mean, this is not his first video. And he, if he wanted to just make the video like it is the fun that is the problem, he would have just made this video without also including black people. But he including black people, it's more like telling black people whether you vote for Kamala Harris and all that, that uh, you are still getting $750. And uh, I don't know why Kamala Harris has really become the most popular person all over when they still have president. The fact that people have refused that they still have president and they are not holding their president response, like, you know, responsible for some certain things. And also their congressmen and women, they are not holding them responsible. They are also not calling their governor. I mean, the whole story is just so long. But bringing black people into this discussion, did, I don't see like, you know, it doesn't make any sense. But you all can do it better. I am not just going to say like Asians, I, I am just going to single out that boy and tackle him, like, you know, talk, speak on him without bringing other people into it. But I just really do not understand the anti-blackness that goes all like all over. I am not going to say these people are like, well, because it's like a worldwide thing. Like you are going to think that uh, some people may have learned from history and the things that has been happening around and boom again, you see them come out again and show how, um, how uninformed they are. And this young, this particular young man has been like, I remember one video he made, was it last year? that I, I mean that triggered a lot of black people and uh he, he, he i mean he, he didn't uh this is not his first video on black people or trying to probably like you know shed black people and all that i mean he's been doing that so i don't think i am surprised but just that i haven't like you know seen him in a long time but then seeing this video also like you know brings back memories and the rest of it See, all I am going to tell you, I'm like, we've done so many videos on this, uh, FEMA and all that. And I am sure majority of you already know the truth. 
I mean, how do you want to get the money? I, I didn't know. There are full, uh, process to some certain thing, details, protocols, and the rest of it. And I am sure that most of the people that were affected by Hurricane Helene may have also gotten help. But some people choose to still be ignorant and come online to uh, make some certain claims about some certain things, probably using black people to chase cloud, right? Now, I keep saying this, when you see Mr. Thomas Bishop has been on 1 million for like more than one year, 1.1 million or 1 million for more than one year. And his content are very educational. He is also not verified. He is not verified. He put out great content, but trust me, you see the people that do not put out any content or that are ready to deceased, that are just there trust me they all have blue thick their videos go like vi vi goes very viral like this stupid one he made it's all viral but people with great content will be struggling for 200 view uh 1000 view it is still very hard i really don't know why it is like that when you see video where they use the n-word it gets video. It gets a lot of view. When you see video where they are trying to denigrate a great black woman, it gets view. When you see video where they are trying to tell you that are uh, black women, are, it gets view. But when you when we we'll talk about uh, the problem and educational video things going around the world, it will not. They will not push it. They will not push it. I don't know why, but we know why. But yeah, we all can do better. And for this young boy, uh, you know, I don't know what to call him, young boy, young man. Bombastic side eyes. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.